I turned my 2D game into an amazing 3D game. Stick around to see how I did it. Now, although that there are countless of 3D game engines to choose from, they all typically have a very steep learning curve that can take months to learn and understand. But there's one game engine that stands out from the rest, and that one is Roblox. Bruh. I know, after all of those times I've clowned on Roblox game developers, I'm slowly becoming one. And the only reason why I chose the Roblox game engine was because it was easy. It's totally not because I like Roblox. You know, who, who, would, who would think that? Anyways, it's time to start learning how to make a Roblox game. I started out by finding a beginner Roblox scripting tutorial. And this tutorial looked cool, so I clicked on the first video. Young little Newbert doesn't know anything about game development. Hey, that's not true. I know JavaScript. Oh, Newbert, becoming a Roblox game developer doesn't happen overnight. You'll especially have to put in the time. Yep, I think I'm getting the hang of this. But in all seriousness, this series taught me a lot of the basics. Since I finished the first course in a couple of hours, that I decided to move on to the advanced script. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna start making the game. As I start coding this game, let me tell you about the sponsor. Oh, you really think I get sponsors? <laughs> Who do you think I am? What I meant to say was, let me explain to you what game I'm making. So, in my previous video, I made a 2D game with JavaScript. It was a dungeon crawler RPG game where you fight monsters and get loot. So I wanted to recreate that game in 3D with Roblox. The first thing I did was create an inventory GUI and a sword. But as of right now, I still don't know how to code that well. So that means I have to go back to the... And wow, let me tell you, I was on a roll. I was learning so many new concepts and one of the first many projects I did was a shop system. But... It didn't work out. I was starting to understand what Brawl Dev was talking about. Oh, Newbert, becoming a Roblox game developer doesn't happen overnight. But I believe I can do anything I set my mind to. And I finished the Sharp system. Although I didn't watch all of the advanced scripting videos, I watched a good amount to continue working on the game again. Continuing on to the game, I started working on the map and the Sharp system. But after I finished making the basic store and inventory mechanics, then I started to work on making an NPC monster for like the, the player to attack. But then there was a weird bug with it. Like, when I attack it, it does this. Like, what is it doing? Like, why is it doing this, bro? Like, what the We're just gonna do this. Yep, <laughs> perfect. And now the NPC works perfectly. But then I found a bug. This bug happens when the player resets. And yes, the whole inventory gets reset as well. After a few hours, I finally fixed the bug though, but I wanted to take a break from coding. I got the swords to have animations, and they actually damaged the NPC, but the NPC didn't respond. So that was my next goal. Little did I know, I was about to crash out after I found this next bug. Okay, so there's this very weird bug that's going on, all right? So you, you see me, right? You see me, all right? And I and I enter into the dungeon, okay? So clearly, right, clearly, I am inside of the dungeon. But, oh no, why am I down here? But anyways, let's go try to kill him, right? So let's go attack him, all right? So, so not only is he dead, but he, he doesn't respond. Humanoid report is not a valid member of workspace.noob. What does this mean? After a while, I finally fixed the NPC spawning bug. And at this point of me making the game, I realized how horrible this map looks. So I decided that I was going to learn Blender and make some 3D models to improve the map. At first, I wasn't really that good at making them. Bro, what is this? What is this? Eventually, I got better. Oh my gosh, I cooked. And then I made a better map with all of the models I made. Although I have most of the mechanics for the game, there is still one thing that was missing. And that was the armor mechanic. Not only was the armor horrible, but it was very buggy at first. But I eventually got it to work. Don't worry though, later the armor will get way better and cooler. 
After I made the armor mechanic, I worked on making a better lobby. And oh, wow, this lobby was amazing. I'm really glad how it turned out. After that, I added more NPCs for the player to fight. I also made the GUI look better, because it looked pretty ugly before. But then I realized that I was basically done with the game loop. So I decided to add a second map, which was Wild West inspired. And then when I thought I was done, I realized that I wasn't done with the game loop and I still had something else to add. <gasps> Look at how many scripts I have. I think this game is like basically done. Oh, I still have to add data store. Oh my gosh. For this, I had to go back to the... As I coded the data store, I also forgot that I wanted to add a Robux shop because I want money. The final touch, I added a global leaderboard and then I was done with the game. Oh my gosh, guys. The game is actually done. Anyways, now that I'm done making the game, it is time to release and publish the game and show people what I've made. Hold up, hold up. Publish the game? To who? <laughs> Who's gonna play it, dude? Which is why I'm just gonna show two of my friends the game that I've made. And I know I know what you're saying. Pro is really making another video with his friend. And look, if you want me to stop using him for content, Maybe you should join my Discord server in the description, and maybe, just maybe, you can be in the next video. So yeah, if you want to be in a future video, then you should join the Discord server. Anyways, now it's time to show my first friend. Are you ready to, to play the game? I'm so ready. Am I going to be playing by myself? Stop hitting me! Anyways. Yo. This is actually very well decorated. Thank you, thank you. It, it took me it took me a long time to, to make. We do not care. You're a useless teammate. Who said that we were teammates? I don't want to be teammates with you. I thought we were too I died. It's it's like a it's like a 3D version of, of the 2D game. I got you, bro. You, you can't attack them though. I'll find a way. <laughs> I'll beat that guy over there easily. Bro is not beating him easily. Oh my gosh, just no, 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 no! We have such a skill issue. Oh, this armor is so cool. Look at me, I'm so much cooler than you right now. You're, look, you look so dumb. I look so cool right now. Oh yeah, also, my friend said that I have, like, a YouTuber voice. Is that true? We, we do have a YouTuber voice. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or, or a bad thing. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Junior Codes, here with another video. Try saying that. What is up, guys? Anyways, that is it for this video. The rest of the, of the gameplay was pretty boring. So, yep, go play the game. Link in the description. And yeah, I'm gonna go freaking do something with my life.